Hi, I'm Jeremy. In this video, I'm going to share with you why I find Mailbrew so useful and how I use it to streamline reading. And I'll show you a quick demo. First, Mailbrew basically takes all the stuff you read, Twitter accounts, Reddit subreddits, um, YouTube accounts, blogs, newsletters, anything else you're reading online, and puts it into one streamlined email that you can also read online. So that's the basic function of Mailbrew. It is useful because it reduces your sense of being overwhelmed by 50 different things that you're trying to follow in a given day, reduces the guilt at not keeping up with all that because you can see it in a single daily email. I like to get mine after work in the evening. You can also get it in the morning or you can get it once a week or once a month or at whatever frequency works for, for you. So let's take a look at how this actually works in a real life scenario. This is my mail brew uh, that I get in a typical day. Uh, this is one from a recent day. And as you um, scroll down here, this you'll see um, you'll see what I include in my um, daily mail brew. For example, uh, the weather in New York, where I live, uh, so I have a sense of what to wear, how cold it's going to be, or whether it's going to rain. Uh, I like getting updates on new sites and apps that are at the top of the list on Product Hunt and Beta List, which are two sites and services that uh, up where people upvote new apps and tools, uh, which is useful for me because I'm a geek about that stuff. I get a quick view at my calendar, and one nice thing I'll mention about the things in Mailbrew is you can choose how many of them you want. So you can choose whether you want three calendar items or 10 calendar items. I also like including items from Uplifting News, which is a subreddit about good positive news. And I chose three items, but you could choose more than three items if you want more of that or less of that. You can choose YouTubers. I, I included a video from Ali Abdal um, on my list. Uh, you can choose however many YouTubers you like or not. Uh, I like a including a Readwise quote from uh, uh, something I've saved online, a highlight I've saved online, some t top links from Twitter, uh, some interesting material from CodeKey, which is a blog that I follow. And that's an example of some of the stuff that's in my Readwise, um, uh, sorry, that's in my Mailbrew. Um, and I also want to show you quickly how you actually create a new one. So let's say you wanted to create something that you're going to see however frequently, um, once a month or at whatever frequency you want. Or, or um, you can just create a new brew and you can add various sources. So you can see all the different sources um, that you can choose from. And let's say you want to add a couple of websites. I'm going to add uh, James Clear, author of Atomic Habits. I'm going to add something from, let's say, Lifehacker, maybe. Um, and um, just to illustrate the other kinds of things um, we can add here, I'm going to add a subreddit. Uh, let's add the um, shower thoughts. Um, people think sharing interesting things they're just wondering about. Um, and let's see if we want to add um, amazing images of Earth. Um, and so we can add however many reddits we want. We can add other reddits that aren't listed here. We can add the weather for our area. We can add newsletters that we subscribe to. We can add a couple of YouTube accounts um, like Marcus Brownlee, uh, for example, a tech, uh, tech YouTuber. And any other YouTube accounts it doesn't have to be listed here. You can search for it. Um, you can add uh, Twitter lists, uh, material from your Twitter timeline. You can add um, other stuff you want to follow. That's the stuff listed over here. You can add even a podcast or a product hunt like I showed. And um, then once, you're, once your page is looking good, you can choose. Do you want this daily? Maybe I want this weekly. And maybe I want this weekly on Sunday. I don't know. And not at 9 a.m. Maybe I want it at noon on Sundays and I'm good to go. So once I have that, I can choose I can choose any one of these sources. Let's say I don't want that many videos of, um, of this person. I can edit this and now say, you know what, I only want three or two of those videos. Um, and, um, and I can make some adjustments here to this page. Once I'm done with that, I can just click Done. And now I'm ready to generate the first issue. It's, it's going to be generated in four days because that's a Sunday. And I can already generate the first issue just as a web view if I want to see it that way. So uh, here it goes. And this is the first view of this new Mailbrew page that I've created just to uh, aggregate um, some of the sources that I might like to follow on a weekly or monthly uh, basis. I can share this with someone if I want to, um, making, making it public and describing it and then, and then sending it to people and adding subscribers. But mainly I use Mailbrew just for my own self to um, just to have a way to aggregate my reading into a single place to streamline it so I can just read one thing and feel like I've covered a lot of the sites that I might otherwise miss on a given day. 
So that is MailBrew in a nutshell. I hope that's been useful. I'd be curious how you end up using it and what you find most useful about it.